morning guys oh man this looks like a penner truck up here that's sad to see we got a accident up here we had some uh, ice rain here and this is what happens people are going too fast for the conditions man I hope this penner guy is gonna be okay looks like a whole pile up over here that ain't good. Well, that does happen time to time. Oh boy, oh, he's at least got a moose bumper. Looks like this truck is spun out. Oh boy, I hope it doesn't turn out to be a pile up like it was in uh, Michigan there uh, two weeks ago or something like that. So, yikes. Yeah, they should have been out here more with the salt truck clearing the roads you know but they're always too cheap to put the salt out here you know but he finally got out here so we'll see I don't know if they shut the highway down or what's going on up here everybody's parked up here no I guess they're just everybody's just checking out the accident I guess but hopefully we don't get ourselves into any kind of trouble like that i just tried to keep it real easy it's very icy up here i mean it's one sheet of ice up here you know looks like he's almost out of salt yep <clears throat> i guess everybody just decided to park instead of continue after seeing what they saw up there so <laughs> well i don't blame him one bit I'm gonna try and continue on I'm just gonna take a real easy and see feel the roads you know see how it's gonna be here we are entering South Dakota and as you guys probably can see the roads are a lot better than what they were back there I guess they must have put salt down over here but I tell you ladies and gentlemen that was a hairy situation that was absolutely dangerous that I was in there I mean I just about went in the ditch myself there at one spot it was so icy I was going maybe 30 miles an hour and uh, I was starting to slide off the road and I went so far as to I went on the grass that's how far I slid off the road but I was able to keep it under control and not oversteer or anything like that I was able to get her back on the road and, and by that time I was slow down a little bit more and everything we managed to keep the, the wheels up and we managed to not jackknife or get stuck or nothing like that we got her back on the road no problem that was hairy I'm telling you oh I thought I was going slow already I was going between 20 and 30 miles an hour and that was still too fast for the conditions a couple of curves there they were like the road and the bend like when it curves they they also make the road a little bit on an angle you know and a couple of spots there I was starting to slide off the road too even going 20 miles an hour that was that was something yeah but we made it through that and here we are in South Dakota now and it looks like we are back on track we're not going full speed yet but uh, we are cruising along here around 50 55 mile an hour speed limit right now which is fast enough right now but we'll see I was sort of expecting this kind of weather or this kind of road conditions up in Kansas but I certainly wasn't expe uh, uh, expecting this kind of road conditions up here in North Dakota I stayed overnight in uh, Fargo there at the Petro and when I got up there even this morning I, I right away I knew this is gonna be 
be an interesting day. I uh, sure was hoping that they would have put salt on already, but I guess they hadn't. So by the time I got a little bit south of Fargo there, uh, all hell broke loose, you know. They hadn't put any salt down and it was one sheet of ice and people, I guess, were going too fast for the conditions and uh, I guess oversteered and all that fun stuff. and. Uh, Went in the ditch, uh, a couple of them you're probably going to see, I know there's one of our company drivers there, but there's even a couple of there that went even further in the ditch and looks like they they just basically slid off the road. Yeah, yeah so, gotta be careful out there when it's winter, I guess. So for your southern guys, you have it easy, for most of the part, most of the times anyways. A few times of the year that you might get a little bit of ice rain, you can stay home and whatever, just stay at the truck stop. But we get it so many times out of the year here. I know if you are a regular viewer of my channel, I know only a week and a half ago or some two weeks ago. Yeah, it's almost exactly to the day, two weeks ago. I had a lot of snow and then on Sunday I had a, a ice rain, so it's uh, almost two weeks ago. Yeah, so that's just the kind of stuff we have to deal with out here as truckers, you know. Well, it looks like another set of accidents up there. We got a pickup truck right here at, uh, to the right, right here. He's in the ditch way down there. And it looks like way up there we got another couple of four-wheelers that are in the ditch up there. So I guess they had only put a salt up to a little bit past the state line here, I guess. Up here it's still pretty slippery it looks like. I am telling you guys, look at this, we even got a smoky bear up here in the ditch. Holy smokes, what is he doing down there? I guess he can think that he can drive anywhere he wants I guess. But yeah, this is going to make for a real interesting day I think. I hope we don't get ourselves into any kind of trouble but Let's pray to the Lord that we are going to be safe today. We're going to have the, he's going to give us the wisdom on when to slow down and all that stuff and keep us safe. So keep our fingers crossed, I guess. Well, here we go. Just stopped in uh, Sioux City, uh, South Dakota, and I just figured this truck here, right here, looks pretty cool with that army paint and the American flag there right on the front. That's a pretty cool looking truck to me. Yeah, we stopped up here at the Flying J. <laughs> Grabbed ourselves some breakfast. Now we are done with breakfast. Now we're going to try and get back on the road. It's crazy windy up here today. Uh, the wind is coming out of the west. Which is right across the highway. I'm going southbound, so... Uh, Makes it for a tough day of driving, but hey, we'll make it as long as it's not too icy, so... Well, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but we got some very interesting uh, old buildings. Look to the left up here, that looks beautiful. I love old buildings like these, eh? I know i gone through these uh, this town here before, and I showed uh, these this, this town before, but... Uh, I know some of my uh, new subscribers have uh, uh, not uh, seen this, so I figured I would show you guys. Alrighty, our day has officially come to an end. <clears throat> yep, the day is done. At least with the driving part, it's done. And uh, we made it as far as uh, a little bit into Kansas on highway us 75 we will be spending a night over here got uh, 513 miles to go tomorrow so that should be doable i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video with all the action you got going on today <laughs> all the ice rain and everything we got up there we still managed to keep her on the road and keep her safe and everything Unfortunately, not everybody was as lucky today, but uh, the Lord has blessed me today with the safe day, and I'm very thankful for that. And uh, 
So with that, I think uh, I'm going to go edit up these videos and then we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So thanks for watching. Hope you will give me the thumbs up, share the video and also subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, if you did, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And with that, have a good day, good night, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. We shall see you again tomorrow.